we got the Civil Rights Act in 1964, the Voting Rights Act in 1965. I've always taken the position that the vote is precious. It is the most powerful, nonviolent tool that we have in a democratic society, and we must use it. Unbelievable discussion debates are going around all over America on the part of some people to suppress the vote, to make it hard, to make it difficult, almost impossible for people to participate in the democratic process. We cannot let that happen. A few short years ago, three young people that I knew, Andy Goodman, Mika Scherner from New York, James Shaney from Mississippi gave their very lives. And I tell young people, I tell students all the time, that these three young men didn't die in Vietnam, they didn't die in the Middle East, or Eastern Europe, or in Africa, or Central or South America. They died right here in our own country. The only thing some of us did, we gave a little blood. They gave their lives. Almost 50 years later, we cannot allow their deaths to be in vain. All of us, whatever happened next week, or the following Monday or Thursday, we must be prepared to fight the good fight and never, ever give up. Never, ever take no for an answer. We must get in the way. We must get in trouble. Good trouble. Use the law. Use the law. Use the Constitution to bring about a nonviolent revolution right here in our country, this time, this place. We had a crossroad. Something's going to happen maybe next Monday, maybe next Thursday. Supreme Court is going to say something. We've come too far. We made too much progress to stop now or to go back, but we must move forward.